So you want to make as much money as possible with a method that's not going to die instantly. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a method that's been really forgotten and no one does, but it makes over 11 million coins per hour pretty consistently. If you guys know today's video, subscribe, it truly in the world to me. There's a giveaway for 5 million coins, comment your IG, and if you have 500 likes, I will roll it. You must be subscribed in order to roll it. I'm only going to choose people from my subscribers list. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, I'm going to be going over a method that isn't really used a whole lot, but it is so, so good, and I'm going to be proving how good it actually is. Now, first for requirements, this is going to be a fishing method that makes 11 million coins per hour, and I can almost guarantee you it's not what you're thinking. Now, you're going to need at least fishing 15 with some items. I don't care what items you have, but you're going to need the fishing rod, obviously, armor, pet, and you're going to need another very unique item. This item is going to be the rabbit axe. Now, the rabbit axe is obtained through the mushroom desert. What you do is you take a rabbit on a lead, you go up top, there's like a Jake dude up here. You give him an animal, and then you can get yourself a uh, rabbit axe. I got myself a lot because I always lose like so much of them. But you talk to him, you get an, you get the rabbit axe. What the rabbit axe, do axe does is very unique. There is a bunch of these for cows, sheep, whatever, but we're going to want the rabbit one. Killing a rabbit increases its drops by two. Not, not like doubles, not increases it by whatever. It just increases it by two. So if you usually got 10 drops, you're not getting 12. Now... What we're trying to fish up is the Carrot King. Now, the Carrot King, as we can see, will spawn at level 15 as soon as I can find it. Spawns level 15 is a bunch of drops. There's only one drop we're looking for, and that is the Lucker Clover Core. Now, the best thing with this method is that the Rabbit Axe, if you kill it, if you kill the Carrot King using the Rabbit Axe, it will give you two more drops. Meaning, instead of usually getting one Lucky Clover Core, you are now getting three Lucky Clover Cores, which is what makes this method so overpowered. So you must kill this with a rabbit axe. Now, how do you kill it with a rabbit axe? Because if you hit it with a normal axe, it doesn't have any damage. So it's kind of useless. And you can't, I mean, you can enchant it, but like not really. If you hit it with a normal axe, it does like no damage. So the Carrot King spawns with 32,000 health. So what I recommend doing is finding a weapon that does just slightly under that dam damage requirement. That doesn't do enough damage to kill in one shot. But for example, if it has 30,000 HP, hitting it for around 30,000 out of the 32,000. So you only have to hit it a few times instead of having to spam it the entire time because that's not really effective. You could probably try sword swapping, but I'd rather just get it once, hit it low, and then do it. You can do this by finding a weapon, probably Aspect of the End, maybe a Heroic Forward Sword, depending which armor you're using, depends on your setup. Find a weapon that will do around 31,000 damage. Then you hit it, swap the rabbit axe, and manually kill with the rabbit axe. Now, what are the percent chances and how do you actually make money from this? I think it's pretty obvious you get the clover cores. Now, clover cores are the main way of making money, and currently clover cores are going for 3 million coins per. Meaning every single time you kill one and get a clover core with a rabbit axe, you get 9 million coins. This is where most of the money is coming from. So, the Carrot King has a few stats. It spawns every... It has like a 3.5% chance to spawn... So every like 28 fish, you should fish up a Carrot King. Now, personally, when I'm in, uh, like when I have rain and with my setup, I fish on average every five seconds to get a single fish, which is pretty good. I mean, that's a lot longer. That's with rain. That's with setup. It takes me around five seconds to get a fish to come and bite it, which, oh, that's a Carrot King. All right. Oh, no. Fuck, bro. That's a no. I thought that was a Carrot King. I was about to be so happy. All right. So you fish it up every 28 fish. It takes you five seconds to kill or to fish up a fish, meaning on average you should get about a carrot king every two and a half minutes. You're like, it, depending on who you are, that's either really good or you're like, wow, that's kind of shit, right? So you're able to fish up a carrot king on average every two and a half minutes. This means you're about to get 24 carrot kings per hour. There is a pr pretty high chance, if you are average luck, that you will be able to get a lucky clover core in one of these drops. Now, it is RNG, so I'm not guaranteeing that you are, but odds are you probably will. Reason for this being is there is a 2% chance to fish up the drop, and you're, like, you're probably like, what? That math doesn't make sense. That is with the zero magic find. Personally, I'm literally wearing shark armor right now with the dolphin pet, and I'm able to clock out 113 magic find. If I switch that to even like a griffin, an uncommon griffin, I'm going to bump that up to, to, to 120. So having 120 magic find is pretty common. So with 120 magic find, which is what I have when I'm wearing basically normal stuff, it's a 4.3% chance to spawn in. That means you get around one lucky clover core drop 
every single hour. Now, whole thing is, is RNG, you could get three an hour, you could get one every two hours. If you have average RNG, according to math and what I've personally tested, you should be getting around 9 million, or you should be getting around one of these per hour. Now, I actually did test this for a full hour, and I was able to get one of the drops, which I, you know, tripled. And personally, I fished in the, as soon as this stops lagging, personally, I fish in the park. There's a few reasons for this. One, you can turn on the rain, and that just makes it super, super nice because you are able to fish faster. If you're in a fishing lobby, it's not going to cost you a whole lot extra. But you turn on rain, you fish faster, right? Which actually increases the chances of you fishing or getting a drop even higher. In addition to that, you can also make money from the actual drop. So I did this for one full hour, and then that full hour, full hour is make around, able to make 11 million coins per hour on average. The majority of this coming from the Lucky Clover Core drops, however, with everything else you just naturally fish up, you should be getting around 2 million coins extra of just stuff. So this method is highly, highly underrated. I have footage of me doing this. I've proven that it works through math and everything. This works, right? Now, I'm not going to guarantee you're going to get one every hour because I can't do that. But the whole point is you fish with a whatever setup you want to, with a fishing setup. Then, as soon as you spawn in the Kara King, you want to swap, hit it with a weapon that deals a little under 32,000 damage. If you're using a level 100 Dolphin, please keep in mind level 100 Dolphin makes it so the mobs, or one of the enchants on your, uh, sorry, rod, makes it so the mobs start with less HP. So please take this into account. I, you can find the percentage and find what it is, but take it off if you don't want it. And make sure you do the math right so you're not instantly shutting it and not killing it with rabbit, rabbit sacks. Because if you do, then that's just bad. So whole point, you fish, you get, you summon it, hit it once, swap to the rabbit's axe, kill it, sell the stuff, sell it, you know, clover for profit. Super simple, super easy. And I bet you hadn't heard of this before. And if you did, that was from my video I made a while ago. Either way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing and sharing the world to me. One thing I forgot to mention, you must be using carrot bait in order to do this. That's the only way to summon it in. But, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.